Yeah. And he get, gets on fire with all the fish and everything. Yeah. Everything, yeah. The only thing that don't get on fire with is a bog wood. Right, yeah. He's moving it all the time. Yeah. He's what he is. Yeah, they surprise you, the arrow ones, mate. Yeah, they, they don't. don't they, no, they don't um, take no prisoners at all. No. Yeah, if they don't like someone, they're going to smash them up. Yeah, but they yeah. won't even. Know. What is going on YouTube? And welcome back to the channel. Now, another tank visit today. We've got to go to Henlow today, so not too far from me. It's about a forty-five minute drive, so all good. Um, we're going to see a Predator tank as well, so um, yeah, should be some cool bits in there. So stay tuned. Let's go and see what it's like. Right, everyone. I've just got to Ricky's house, and this is his display tank in his lounge. It's mega, mate, isn't it? Yeah, mate. Yeah, it's about, um, I think about 1,000 litres, I think, yeah. something like that. Yeah, what size is it then? 7 by 30 by 2. Yeah, so it's nice and deep, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's because I've got the rays in there, so you sort of need it for, like, for, for them, really. Yeah, yeah. More than anything. It's like floor space, isn't it? Of course it is, mate, yeah. What, what, um, so what fish we got there? I see you've got a few rays and stuff then. Uh, that's um, that razor mantilla cross BD cross het. Wow. Um, and then yeah, I've got a few other different rays, but not in that tank. Um, I've got the eel in there. Um, I've got two birches, a um, couple of gunch, um, some L25s, um, and then the arrows, the turtle, and then the reticulated knife fish down the end. Yeah, I noticed that when I first walked yeah. in. It's a bit different, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know, they call them arowana knife fish and then a reticulated knife fish. I don't really, I don't really know like, what, the, what, the, what the correct one is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's <laughs> so many different names for things in that, they, they like now. Nah. That turtle's wicked, isn't it? Yeah, he's cool. And he get, gets on fire with all the fish and everything, yeah? Everything, yeah. yeah. The only thing it don't get on fire with is a bog wood. Right, yeah. He's moving it all the time. <laughs> yeah. He's what he is. Yeah, it's a funny thing, isn't he? Look how long his neck is. Yeah, called a snake neck turtle. Yeah. Let's see why. Let's see why. Yeah. <laughs> That's quality. What's he like when you put your hands in the tank and stuff? Is he alright? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can touch him. Oh, cool. I would, but I don't, because they've got quite a strong bite. But I don't want to touch it. Because his neck had touched the back of his shell near yeah. enough. So, yeah. even trying to pick him up and that. If you don't want to be picked up, he'll have you. Like, and he can get you as well. <laughs> yeah, he can come round the side of you. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. They've got quite a strong bite on them as well, so I don't really want to get bit by it. No, definitely not. Yeah, you've got an albino over here, haven't you, as well? Yeah. Yeah, he's nice, isn't he? He's in my bad books in a minute. Munching my African tiger fish. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't expect him to eat. The African tiger fish was 10 inches, he's only, he's 12. It's they right. surprise you, the arowanas, mate. Yeah, they, they don't, don't, they, no, they don't um, take no prisoners at all. No. Yeah, if they don't like someone, they're going to smash them up. Yeah, but there yeah. weren't even no signs of anything either. No. One day I come in, he's gone. Right. And that was him. Strange, isn't it? Mm. I see you've got some lovely old 25s as well, haven't you? Yeah, there's a breeding pair in there. Yeah, he's well nice, Somewhere. Yeah, I think the other one's underneath this piece of wood here. Yeah, behind this, this fat eel. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a yo yo loach as well, isn't there? You got yo yo loach? Yeah, yeah, do you know what? I had them in there before I got all of these fish white, right? and they're so quick, yeah. like trying to get them out. I thought, I don't want to stay in there. Yeah. And they, they get on with everything, so it's just, I don't know, it's a little, sad, a little bit quirky. I, I, yeah. I kept five or six of them years ago, mate, and honestly, they got absolutely massive, like as big as my clownages at home. Yeah. And, um, Obviously, I was, I was getting bigger fish and bigger fish, and they just all just disappeared, mate. That, that was when I had the uh, Tementis bass in there, yeah. so I reckon they had them. Yeah. But they got really big, and like you say, they are so fast, a bit like a clown loach. They um they can get away from things, but at night when they're sort of. I see your clown loaches there. That's lovely, that is. Yeah, got a big pack of them now. Yeah. It's brilliant, that is. You've got a lot of personality as well, isn't they, the clown loaches? Yeah, yeah. You've got to get them used to, you, and you've got to interact with them, and they're fine. Yeah. A lot of people. It makes me laugh when they sleep on their side and they used to catch them sleeping on their yeah. side and things, ain't it? Brilliant. Yeah. What filtration we got then, pal? What's going on? So I've got the uh, FX6 over there. Yeah. Um, that's attached to a 75 watt UV strapped up to the underneath of the tank. Maybe you can see that. Yeah. Right um, yeah, pop the light on, let's have a look. Oh, quality, that's well good, isn't it? It's alright. Yeah. And then here yeah, I've got like um, monster. Um, air bubble um, thing there and then I've got the um, all pond solution 20, uh, 2500 litre an hour in there. Yeah what do you want in there? The duratum? 
I do, yeah, to be fair, for with them, like compared to like obviously the FX6 is is, is better, but for the cost difference of a all point solution compared to the FX6 to what they actually do, yeah, they're better. Like, yeah. like the value for money side of things, I I, I think like do you know what I mean other people would have a different opinion. Like, yeah, of course, of course. So what, how much are these sorts of are then? The uh, about 110 pounds. Yeah, it's like cheap, that. isn't it? Really? Easy, it's like 250 quid. No, so I, like, I think they're even know. more now, mate. I think yeah, about 270 be. in the shop now. 270 now. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's a lot, mate. <laughs> I know, I know. But it's for, see what I'm saying for like two and a half times, nearly three times as much, and it's not really doing three times more work. No, no, it's it. Look at it; it's even like equivalent. Like, well, I, don't, I don't think everything's as good as them. No, nah, well, you can buy three of them for the three price of that near enough, can you? Yeah. You know? Oh, so, yeah. And yeah, you've got a big air pump down there, haven't you? Yeah, it's a monster one, mate. Yeah, it's big, isn't it? Yeah, noisy as well. <laughs> yeah. And that's running, what, three air stones, you see? Yeah, it's, for, uh, it's three in there. I've got a big big disc at the back, um, and then I've got the just the, um, the air, air balls um, yeah. on the side, which is obviously fish are quite big in there so I try and keep I try and grab it over um like too much edge you know what I mean rather than yeah. not enough. Oh you've got to oxygenate the water mate yeah. massively yeah so that's, that's why I, when I got there I just thought I'd put it all on it's like eight outlets on that I think six of them are running. Yeah. So, that's, that's where a lot of people run into trouble with big fish. They think oh, I've got loads of filters on the tanks, bosh like yeah, you're absolutely fine. Not, ain't about they, that. they don't oxygenate the water sometimes no. you think all that water movement helps, and it's actually throwing bubbles into the air, which, yeah. into the water, which is going to help but massively. It's one of the things that she's better off to be safe than sorry, like in a sense, you know, like with the um, with the air. Yes. If well, if we get it wrong, and they've gone in, that, do you know what I mean? Yeah, of course, yeah. So it's always better to go a little bit over over the top rather than not enough. Oh yeah, definitely, mate, definitely. And so you've got a wave pump. Is that a wave pump there? Two in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's two three thousand five hundred litre an hour. Um, Powered. And that just helps get everything into the fields and stuff, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just for circulation because I, I, where I've got the sand in there, it's so frustrating with the, with the ray. Like I can't have the the, um, the inlets for the filter down at the bottom because it just sucks sand in constantly. Yeah, yeah. So I have to have them up a little bit. So I keep the wave maker now in there so it sort of churns the water up a little bit mm. just so it gets the bits off the bottom so like it can filter properly. Yeah. So, yeah, them rays are messy when it comes to the sand. Oh, I was yeah. going to do a clear bottom, but it's, they prefer it with the sand. So it's sort of, do you know, like you try to do right by the fish, yeah. and then you deal with all the problems afterwards. And, and you get bored, you get bored of a bare bottom tank. I like I like sand as well, mate. I've tried it, yeah. and I just got bored of it. I think I prefer the bare bottom. To be fair, like just through easiness of like use, because you can put your wave makers in them, just like churning yeah, them yeah. up off the bottom yeah. things. Oh, it's easy for maintenance, yeah. yeah. But for, for looks as well, like, I think sand is better. And the light in there, mate. So what are these? E, e, um, e XR30s, though, yeah. Yeah, XR30s, yeah. I, I lost the um, lost the fingers from the wires, so I've got them, I've got them um, bodged up. <laughs> yeah, it was doing the job, <laughs> isn't it? I've got to have them up there. Like, I've tried other lights in that, but it don't. I like the shimmer and the sand in that, like, that they give, but none of the other lights really do that. No. That I've seen maybe Kessels. I know they ain't tried them yet. Like Kessels, they've been Kessel weightings, they're really good, yeah. But I just like, I like how they are, like they're good with the fish and the shimmer as well off the sand. It's like it's nice, especially sitting there at the night time, like you know, yeah. it all reflects off the ceiling and everything. It's quite it's relaxing, yeah. It looks lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. A, a lot of people said about the Kessels. A guy I've just been to see, him, he's got a uh, just a cheap lot on his tank at the moment. He just said about he's gonna order a couple of Kessels, they're brilliant because the like you say, the shimmer. A lot of people I have actually seen with the Kessels does look the yeah. nuts. I see the Kessel, Gareth had the Kessels um, on his tank indoors. Yeah. Um, that's where I first like, sort of sealed out. I was like, oh, look at him. Yeah. Like, you know, you see and things I, and you yeah. think, I was like, oh, what? And you start, you go home that night and start You feel like you're missing that, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I know, and then you see the price of them, you're like, yeah, I, oh, I ain't getting them yet. Yeah, I know. It's true, isn't it? Yeah. Mate, this is quality, man. They're supposed to be really aggressive. I know, like, I've only known of a few of them about. Yeah. Um, there might be more, I don't know, I don't know. I only know of about three. Um, I don't think I've seen one before. It's supposed to be really aggressive, but he's been away. Like, I say that now, I'll probably die like, in a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, he's probably <laughs> such smashing everything up, yeah. yeah. But he's been fine, like. Mate, so what is it? Is it what knife fish? It's called a reticulated knife fish. Right. But, um, yeah, he's, he's, or they call him an arowana knife fish. So, 
don't know what one's the actual proper correct term for that, I don't know. No. I'm not sure. No. That's great because it's different. Like, I, I did the same one before and I thought, ah, oh, try it, man. Yeah. It's been good as gold. You'll have to look into it, mate. It looks really cool. I've never kept one before. Yeah, nice. It's just nice as well to have something different with the arowanas. I know something like swimming and shoulding, it's not. Yeah. I, I, I can, the way I could trust him with, with them, you know, like if you had another arowana, you end up might have any problems and things. Yeah, I think you would, mate. I wouldn't, I don't think I would anyway with him, like, exactly in there. Boss of the tank. <laughs> what, the arrow? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That turtle's funny, man. It's just like it's like know. looking into your soul, isn't it? I know. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what as well? Do you know how she does it? She, she comes down the end where right? she nods it up when she's angry. Yeah. So she comes down this end yeah. and I sit here when I'm watching the TV or watching the, the tank. And she comes down, she nods it when she's angry, and uh, you'll feed her. And she comes down in the corner, she curls up, to like tucks all her neck in and curls up, and she goes to sleep and calls her the tank. Really? Yeah. And then like the stingray as well, it, it comes and lays on top of her shell, cleans her shell. Yeah. Like the stingray does, like. When, she, when she's sleeping, climbs over on that, it's mad. Mate, it's wicked, I'll have to look into these. How big did they get? I think that's near enough fully grown. I yeah, think. it's I might be wrong, but I think he's near enough fully grown. Yeah, it's a nice size, isn't it? I don't think they get much bigger. That's, I think she's about nine inches, I think, so like eight inches. Her shell, I think they only get to about ten. Hmm. I might be wrong with that, but I think, I think so. I want to have a clue, mate, I don't know anything about them. Yeah, they just don't sound different to the tank, don't they, the turtles? Yeah. I used to have, um, I've had like, other ones like um, snapping turtles, you, know, like, you can't really put them with anything. No, no, like, end up eating mean? a lot overnight, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. That's a lovely tank, mate. And you've got some real, you've got some smaller tanks here with grow up, isn't it? Yeah, just this is a little grow out tank there. I've got a little, um, a little Oscar in there, a little, a little um, pearl, um, that right, isn't it? Yeah, they call them back waves. Yeah. It's basically got an air lip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It looks cool though, doesn't it? It's a bit of a deformity, but it, it works, doesn't it? It's different though. Like, it's just, I don't know, I don't like being the same as everyone else. No. <laughs> Boring. And this is just running internal filter, just something yeah, simple, yeah, sponge filter. filter. For the minute, because once I, I've got, a, I'm going to put a divider in my, in my main tank, and um, I'm going to get them in, in the main tank, just because it's a bigger body of water. Yeah. i start trying to get her to put, put a bit of weight on. But with her, she's so small, where, when I first got her, she was tiny. Yeah. So I had to sort of like make sure she was feeding and all that, and I can't really do that with the with the flow of um, in the tank. Do you know like how I've got it? She wouldn't get nothing. Do you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. She'd be constantly chasing, so she'd be burning more energy than what she's getting. That's right. Yeah, so yeah. And she ended up killing herself. Yeah. Yeah. I had to just slow it all down in there yeah. for a minute, just to give her a bit of a break, like try and get <coughs> some weight on. Well, the guy I just been to he had a, a ray, a little bit bigger than that, yeah. and uh, he had a divider in the tank. Yeah. But he had a hole in the divider so the ray could come out and feed. Oh wow! And he had this massive female in there with, with the small ray, and it was absolutely fine. But it all depends on the personality of the fish, yeah. doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? Well, I spoke to I spoke to um, who was I spoke to the other day? I spoke to someone they had a pup, and it got out into their tank, and their ray munched it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It survived, but mate, you should see the state of it because you don't realise like it wasn't until I see Raj's video yeah. that I realised how bad the teeth was. Yeah, like, you right. know when he showed the yeah. video like oh, it's a shark wow, in there. Yeah. I didn't realise they was like that. I thought no. they had like crushing plates on them. Yeah. I always assumed that they had that. No, that's all teeth underneath the lips, mate. Yeah. I know, that's incredible. That's serious. You wouldn't want to get bit by that. No, <laughs> no. Take your finger off. Well, that's it. Well, it's, it's like it was said in the video, it's part of the shark family, so yeah. it's going to have teeth in it. They've evolved over the years, haven't they? You know, yeah. so. Yes. Yeah, oh, they don't mess about. I've seen them with the rays. When they want to eat something, they, they, they get it. Yeah, they smash it a bit. Spin it down, like, and, and that. Seen it before they get it because I've got their little loach things in there. I can't, I can't get them out of the tank. <laughs> and the rays had them up in the glass before. But the, 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 the loach managed to get out. We yeah. that. So this right here is it male or female, mate? We got that one's a male. Yeah. Um, I did have a male and a female, but uh, Gareth's got the um, female now. Yeah. So he's got a little thing going over there, isn't he? So yeah, I'm going to be filming that um, as soon as it's all like 100. percent Yeah. That's lovely over there. What you've yeah. done. I love that. It's a lovely fish and all, isn't he? Oh, he's got some good stuff, yeah. You know he's got good fish, Gareth. Yeah. <laughs> he's got his finger on the pulse that way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's quality, mate. I love it, man. And the tank, like, so you got you got it all pretty cheap, really, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I bought, I, I swapped this tank for, um, someone wanted to downsize, so I ended up swapping this for a 5x2. But it won't, 
it, it was this was in a little bit of a mess when I got it. I had to sort of redo bits and pieces and put it by. Do you know what I mean? Put yeah. a bit of effort into it, but it sort of is getting there. Um, it's not finished yet. But, um, there's a few other bits I want to do, cover up the um, the perspex and things like that. Mm. Um, yeah, it's just time working and <laughs> I know, mate. I know it's not. By the time you get in and obviously the groups and everything else I've been yep. sorting out, trying to get that done. Uh, it's not enough hours in the day. No, there ain't. And before you know it, you have to go to bed because you've got to go to work. Yeah. 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 It's like by the time you go to bed, it's like one o'clock in the morning. Oh, no. I'm up at half five, six o'clock. So, oh, wow. Yeah. I know, and your brain's fried. Fried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely. I like the depth of it, mate, as well. It just makes such a difference, doesn't it? Yeah. It does make a big difference as well. That's the thing. Like, it ain't just, oh, it's like, just for show sort of thing. It does, it does, it does matter mm. in there. Especially like with the bigger fish, like the arawimas and, uh, and like the rays and things. Yeah. You've got to give them enough space. They end up just all sitting on top of each other. They end up with problems in the tank. That's right. Especially with this one. This one will get to a certain size, mate. Yeah. He will as well. They go quick as well, the silvers, that's the thing. Yeah. Just like that. We eat so much food, don't we? Yeah, they do. <clears throat> nah, it's lovely, mate. Really nice. I like the blue light, it looks wicked, doesn't it? Yeah. I've had to, I've had to program it all right, and change all the, the lighting because um, there was it was either white or blue, so yeah. I, I sort of I got it just how I want it, like, with the, like I say, with the shimmering on the sand and that. Are you running the reef length with these, are you? Yeah, I've got the I've got the app. You yeah, it's it, the reef link. Yeah. I, I used these on uh, an old marine tank years ago. Yeah, and I had to buy the reef link and everything, and then set the app up on the on, on the, the computer. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I was they don't work properly, do they? No. Oh. <clears throat> well, the other day, funnily enough, my missus come home from work, and uh, she walked in, and she said she rung me straight away. She said, Rick, she said, there's a problem." I said, "What? Like, you know, when someone says, yeah, like, like, the tank one, like yeah. I was thinking, no. <laughs> Like, yeah. She said, your lights are doing a disco dance. Yeah, yeah. They was on, they must have, I don't know, something must have happened to them, yeah. yeah. And it's gone yellow, red, green, but it's yeah. flashing in here, like she's coming yeah. in, it's full, someone's having a party. Yeah. But they're, they're powerful lights, they are, like. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're worth like, grand calls, aren't they? Yeah. So. But it's one of them, with them, like, you switch them on, the National Grid know about it. Like, yeah. Just, they, they take a lot of electric. Oh, yeah. But then they are good. I love the L25s as well, mate. I've just seen the smaller one come out. Yeah, the smaller one's not as colourful for some reason as the um, as the Mal. Mal's got like uh, like strong red on him. Yeah. I was talking to a guy the other day, and um, well, I went to a Pleco house the other day. It was absolutely mental, mate. That's coming up on YouTube. Well, it'll be up on YouTube now. But um, he had a tank full of six L25s. And he had five females in there, and they're all bright red, and the male's yellowy like yours. Like yeah. I've got a male like that as well. And um, he reckons it's because of the different place in the river where they come from. That's why they have different colours. And I didn't yeah. know it either. And it makes sense, really, doesn't it? Yeah, I, well, I believe that because I, I was um, reading up on the Tementi bass. Yeah. And they're the same. So yeah. you get different ones from different from like different parts of different rivers. They have yeah. different patterns and different colours. That's like, right. Yeah. So it's mad, isn't it? I, I, uh, when the the different things they're eating, obviously, or the different like making them change colour. Yeah, yeah. Making yeah. them change colour. Yeah, deformities and all sorts of yeah. different things on them. Yeah, it's crazy. It does make sense, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It does, of course it does. No, I love it, mate. Well, thanks for having me over, man. No, mate, no worries. No, I really like, appreciate it, mate. Appreciate you coming. That's all right, bud. Right, guys, thanks for watching as always. Like and subscribe to the channel, ding the notification bell, and keep it real, everyone.